dumb but is here to entertain you. It is very heartbreaking and devastating that the very few good people we have in the world actually depart from this world in the most unthinkable ways and they live as young as they are. Of course, we know that DJ Somebody was a hard-working dude who did everything in order to protect the South African culture. Now, it was announced on the 20th of November that he lost his life due to unscrupulous measures with his bodyguard and of course, the second person who was in the vehicle is just announced to have lost his life. May he so rest in peace. I'm about to give you all some insider shocking details about the occurrence and conveyance of everything, so make sure you watch this video right up to the end because to tell you all the truth, I am feeling really broken down and the spirit of sadness hovers all over SA. Before I give you all the entire details, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. After the shooting actually occurred, they are named the bodyguard has been fighting for his life in the hospital following the incident. Unfortunately, it has been revealed that he succumbed to his injuries and has since passed on. This now leaves the case very slim in discovering what exactly happened that very day as he could have actually been the one who was spilled out and shed out some very pertinent light on some technical information what happened to them on that fateful day. The identity of the bodyguard in question is still very much unknown. I personally feel so bad about this. We're looking at a Subu right here who happened to be one of the bodyguards of the Just Somebody. This particular Subu on three countless instances has definitely protected the Just Somebody from unscrupulous people. I mean, three instances where the Just Somebody's life was supposed to be taken, Subu was there to protect him and he died a hero. Now, this other bodyguard of the Just Somebody just departed from this world in the most unthinkable ways. Then, this actually makes things very difficult. How do we actually trace the people who actually claimed to just somebody's life? How can we trace the people who claimed his bodyguard's life? How can we trace the people who committed such malicious acts and left the spirit of a thought, the spirit of sorrow all over Mzansi? Things are getting even more and more complicated and of course, we are actually rooting for the truth and we expect that the Minister of Police Bekinwela is definitely going to do something very pertinent about this. If a top influential person like DJ somebody can actually be claimed, his life can be taken away and nothing is done, then what more of the ordinary people without fame? It has been less than a month since South Africans have heard about the passing on of popular musician and businessman DJ somebody and his life was taken away in a hail of bullets alongside his bodyguard a fortnight ago, leaving the nation in heartbreak as to whom was responsible for claiming his life, the life of his bodyguard and according to allegations, the life of another bodyguard who was in that same vehicle with them. When the DJ was actually shot at while traveling in the Gulf T, another bodyguard of his was also shot at while driving a BMW X5 just behind him. Luckily, on that day, he survived and was taken to the hospital, but little did we actually know that he was going to succumb to the cold hands of death and of course, depart from this world in the most unthinkable ways. I personally feel so bad. First of all, I found it so difficult to believe this, till I saw Umgosi Entertainment who actually posted it, and of course, yesterday was a very breaking moment for me. I, I actually, I personally follow Umgosi Entertainment very much, and of course, she knows how to give us the rightful information. I respect her for that, and she knows how to do her research before this. So, according to allegations, I actually came across against so many, you know, write-ups and articles about this particular man to have lost his life. In as much as I didn't want to believe, but I just had to believe. May so rest in peace. You will tell me what you think about all what is going on already as far as this case is concerned.